this book is called Deep Work by Carl Newport. Ah, Carl Newport. The guy no book die. <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel we're still on this journey to 40 days of following god's will and we are wrapping up really soon we have a few days left i'm so excited first of all let me say thank you a big big thank you to everyone who engaged with all of this content i know it's not easy to consume 40 days of content it, as it was hard for me to create and you know update and edit and do all of the, all of that i know that it's also hard to keep consuming and keep you know being consistent so to everyone who actually watched every of those 40 days thank you god bless you and i hope that it has really been impactful for you as much as it has been impactful for me creating these videos and you know something about spiritual mentorship is that mentorship not just spiritual mentorship mentorship as a whole is you leaning on someone else's wisdom and i hope that these videos have done that and one of the ways that you can lean on someone's wisdom is via their books their resources books are you know, it's actually spiritual to read books. Christians are actually one of the biggest people who read because we have the Bible. We have many, many resources. Books are powerful. Books are written for our own good. And so in this video, we're going to be talking about life-changing books, books that have helped me, books that have transformed my life um, in the course of my existence, in the decades that I've lived on this earth. And one thing about me is that I've actually not read as much books as people think I've read. I've read quite a number of books, but like I've not read that much. And I'm very consistent with my authors. So I'm the kind of person that like, if I've read one of your book, if you bring out another book, I'll read it. If you bring out another book, I'll read it. As, as, as opposed to reading plenty authors. I'm not that kind of person. I'm very loyal, you know? <laughs> so some of the books I'll be mentioning, I'll be mentioning probably the same author but I've read them. And I used to read fiction a lot when I was younger. Like, I liked fiction books. I've read almost all Chimamanda books. <laughs> um, I think I've read... The only one I've not really read is Popular Biscuits. I think I've read the others. Um, Show All the Feminist, The Thing Around Your Neck, Americana. Yeah. So I was a fiction, fiction person. But when I became, like, serious with my faith, the first book I ever read was this book called tongues beyond the upper room so i now switched into self-help and motivational books so and i stopped reading fiction like that except i started reading christian fiction i'm going to share that but one of the best books that i encountered when i first became a christian was the book by kenneth hagen called tongues beyond the upper room and when i started reading that book i did not actually need the convincing because the book is about convincing you to believe in speaking in tongues while to like he debunks a lot of myths a lot of things that people say about tongues and how to you know you know take tongues seriously and all of that and how tongues change his life and he did not need to convince me because i was already speaking in tongues but the book expanded my mind about the idea of tongues he taught me about tongues so that is a book that you should actually absolutely read if you are doubting tongues or you don't know if you should you know be speaking in tongues or you don't believe in tongues or maybe you're already speaking in tongues but you want to understand the efficacy of speaking in tongues and all of that that is a book you should read if you are into you know books the second thing the second book that i would be recommending this is actually my favorite kenny hagen book see that book introduced me to other books that kenny hagen you know has written and this one is like not just my favorite, it's like, I feel like it's the most powerful Kenny Hagen book, which is Exceedingly Growing Faith by Kenny Hagen. This is another book that would expand your mind and make you see that God is good. And I make, I make you see that you need to believe God for things. You know, Kenny Hagen was sick for a long time. He was a sick child. He was sick. I think he had maybe a, a nervous issue or something. I can't remember the issue again. And the doctors already told him he was going to die. He even talked about how a particular pastor came, prayed for him, told his parents that they should start packing up, that he will soon die. But then he read in the Bible that the Bible says, if you um if you believe, okay, if you believe, you can you can move things. If you believe, you can get things done. And he started to believe, like he shared a lot about his journey with the Holy Spirit and how he was able to believe and how he was really the Holy Spirit that pulled him out of his sickness. And so that's why he's passionate about healing, healing ministry, visions, things like that. So that book is really good. And I think that you need it if you are trying to build up your faith, you know, to believe God for great miracles. Exceedingly Growing Faith is the book that you need to read. It just expands your mind. So yes, that book really, really helped me another book that i really really enjoy reading i enjoyed reading is this book called 
praying to get results also by Kenny Hagen. I feel like <laughs> I'm a Kenny Hagen at this point, but yeah, praying to get results will also show you why your prayers are not working. All these books, I don't know if they've updated them now, but when I read them, they were still relevant, even though they are old books, right? Um, praying to get results is a book by Kenny Hagen that will really, really teach you a lot about prayer. Another book similar to that is The Art of Prayer, also by Kenny Hagen, where he spoke a lot about praying. Another book that I will be recommending is this book called Firebrand. <laughs> I'm sure some of us already know this one. This one is by Debola Deji Kurumi, also known as DDK. DDK, DDK, DDK. <laughs> so DDK is Firebrand. I have the whole collection. Um, Firebrand, Firebrand Forerunners, Firebrand Prayer Journal, and recently Firebrand Parents. These books are powerful. They are literally firebranded. <laughs> they would expand your mind to seeing how you need to walk with god this book will ignite a fire on the inside of you it would help you to grow better in your work with god as a woman who has a destiny in god who wants to grow these books are powerful so like i said before like i told you before i'm very loyal to my authors <laughs> there are other books that i think that i can recommend also like good morning holy spirit i've not re i didn't finish it so let me say that here that I didn't finish the book because when I started reading the book, I was already, as at the time when I encountered the book, I had kind of gone far in my Christianity. So it didn't really do much for me like that because he was speaking about, you know, having friendship with the Holy Spirit. So he touched on a lot. And I think I read it up to like halfway or something, but I didn't really finish any, finish it. But it's a really good book for someone who is starting at their feet. So Good Morning Holy Spirit by, I can't remember his name now, but I know he was referencing Catherine Kuhlman in that book. Another book that I also recently um, encountered that I know a lot of people recommended a lot is this book by C.S. Lewis. It's called Mere Christianity. So that's that's probably going to be my next read, but I've seen a lot of good reviews about it. So if you've read Mere Christianity, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts about it. Did you enjoy it? Was it a good book? What did it teach you? Because I'm going to also get into that another book that you should absolutely read is god's generals the difference i think there's revivalists there's evangelists there's healers or something there's just a lot of this series so get those books what god's general will do for you is to give you a vision like like you have to see what the people before you have done and show you like a picture of possibilities so you don't think that what you are thinking so you don't think that maybe when god has said oh you're going to heal thousands of souls you feel like ah is it possible but when you see a picture of possibility by reading these books when you hear what they did <laughs> it literally transformed your life so yeah god's generals is also a very good book that everybody should try and get now i'm going to be switching to like self-help books the first book i recommend definitely is atomic habits by james Clare. yes atomic habits oh my god when you read atomic habits you will build habits that will literally change your life. You will see how to actually manage yourself. You will see how to start, you know, something. You know, you will see that really. <laughs> the author was right when he said that, you know, we don't rise to the level of our goals. We fall to the level of our systems. The system that you put in place in your life will greatly determine how much results you will get. And I think I need to explain that thing because we've heard it a lot. A lot of people have said it, but many people don't really understand. And I think that we can take that from this video. What do we mean by putting systems in place and that you don't fall? The, the quote is you don't fall to the, you don't rise to the level of your goals. You fall to the level of your systems. Let me give you a typical example. So you write a, you write a goal for the year and say, oh, I want to write a book this year. I want to be known as an author then you leave it like that. You just put it in the goal. What system will you put in place to ensure that you actually write? Number one, you're going to have a, a timer on your phone that says, every 6 p.m., I will pick up my laptop and write. And I will write three pages every day. You could even say, okay, I want to get an accountability partner. My partner, you must call me 5 p.m. every day to write. And at 5 p.m., I'll make sure that I have done all my house chores. I have settled my children. If you have children, I've settled my job. I've done everything that I know that will hinder me from achieving that 5 p.m. You will set everything in place. That is how to create systems. It's not just to say, oh, I want to write. Then today you write, tomorrow you won't write. Next week you will write. Next. You will not achieve what you want to achieve if you don't put systems in place. So when people say systems, this is what they mean. So you have to create that kind of system around the goal you are trying to achieve. You can't just leave it to chance. 
So that's what Atomic Habits will teach you. How to create habits, how to create new habits, how to build on old habits that you want to, you know, improve on. Basically, it will help you master your life. That's it. Um, another book, another self-help book that has really been helpful, that was really helpful for me. I recently just finished reading it and gosh, it was so good. I think that's the best self-help book I've read thus far. And everybody has actually read it to the end. They know that the book was really good. This book is called Deep Work by Carl Newport. Ah, Carl Newport. The guy no book die. <laughs> and I think it's because like, he's an academia. He has a PhD. He works as a lecturer. So I could relate more with him because I work as a lecturer too. Um, Carl Newport's book, Deep Work, makes you realize that you have to chase excellence. You have to be known with greatness. You can't just just read that book <laughs> deep work go and read it it basically is going to teach you strategies to use to produce great work to produce awesome work strategies to help you stay focused and not be distracted just just know that it's a very very good book and i absolutely recommend so deep work by carl newport you need it another book that i'll be recommending is this book called the 5 a.m club the 5 a.m. club, also very, very good. You realize that the reason why you're not getting things done is because you don't wake up early enough. <laughs> yeah, I also wanted to recommend a Christian fiction writer. So if you are into Christian fiction, maybe you're into fiction and you just want to be able to read it in a Christian way, Francine Rivers. Francine Rivers is also a very great fiction writer. I used to read her books a lot. I remember reading Masterpiece. Ah, then her mother's daughter... Then her daughter, her mother's hope. I can't remember, but I, there was a whole series of books that I read then. Masterpiece was such a good book. I loved it. I think Masterpiece was the most recent one. I don't know. I'm not sure. But that was one of the books that I read. And I'm still a Francine Rivers girl. I love her books. Yeah. So on that note, let me now also announce right here. I know I've announced. I've done the announcement already. But let me say again that I just also wrote a book. I recently wrote a book called Validated. It's also Christian fiction. So if you are interested in getting the book, leave me a comment and I'll sure get you, I'll, I'll send you, a, I'll reply your message. If I see a comment like, oh, I want to buy your book. Just say that I want to order, I want to order your book. I want to pre-order your book. The book is up for pre-order right now. So it will be launching November 16th. And I can't wait for you guys to finally read this book gosh i'm so excited all right guys um thank you so much for watching if you watched up until this moment i love you guys and see you in tomorrow's video